Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bao. And as you can see, I have a lot of PLL waste. It's way too much. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like throwing things away. And it's plastic. They say PLA is biodegradable, but I don't know how long that's gonna take. And when I, you look it up, there really isn't that much research on it. So, kinda sucks to just throw away plastic. So, instead of doing that, what if we melted these down so we can use it for something else? So, I've seen people make silicone molds for decoration pieces. But it doesn't look like it comes out very well. So I wanted to make something a little more practical. So what better thing to do than to make a tray? Now, this is made of plastic, most likely made with injection molding. But we can do the exact same thing with our 3D printer. We can print this out, or we can turn all of our waste into a tray. Something that's actually usable. I actually found, found this on Amazon too. It's a silicone sheet for domino pieces. We can definitely melt our PLA mold into this and see how it comes out. Let's head to SolidWorks and make our silicone cast. First, we're going to make our box, then we're going to shell it out. Now make the outside so we can pour the resin in. And then we're finally going to shell it out again. And there we go, we have our whole piece. Here I have my silicone mold. Uh, I already poured some of it and I messed up. I knew I didn't have enough epoxy, but I decided to do it anyways. Now I have an incomplete piece. I don't know if this layer gap is gonna make a difference. We'll see how that goes. There are different ways you can do it. You can fill this up with rice, but I'm just gonna do it with water. It seems pretty consistent with the viscosity of the silicone mixture. Pour this in, 360. So I'm gonna make 375 just in case to make sure I have enough uh, silicone mold. I guess this is the downside if you can use water. Water, you have to wait for everything to dry. So I have the silicone mold mix here. This is the mix B and this is the mix A. Uh, direction says we can do one for one. So I'm gonna put in, have a little dish right here and let's pour in 190 of the A, 190 of the B. Wear some gloves, see how it goes. Ooh, for 380. Ooh, good enough. And it comes with a mixing stick. So let's mix this up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. So again, I did mess up the first time. So they're probably going to be a seam line and hopefully seam line isn't a big of a problem. I'm going to try to pour this really high. As long as I don't shake this table, it should be okay. Oh, it's oozing off to the side. And now I'm going to just let this sit overnight. See how it comes out. Uh, everything is dry. I do have a pair of safety glasses break this apart i was able to get a little piece off a little force i can able to push this off it's okay we can recycle all, all of this it's not going to waste i suppose what's working we're making progress maybe i don't need to worry about it as much as i thought oh it's coming oh yeah it's finally coming apart let's go this is really oh yeah i made it really thin so putting pieces in between here is gonna be kind of difficult. What if I just took flat pieces and just kind of shoved it in here? A silicone mold should push it together, right? If not, it would maybe just ooze on out. It's not the prettiest, but it's just a big old block. I feel like I wasted so much uh, silicone mold. I probably could have done something with the center piece. So I had a domino piece that I bought on Amazon for about $5. I was able to make a whole bunch of domino pieces. They're not very good, but I realized that I can use this method to make smaller pieces and I can just shove all the pieces inside. We can just start slowly like kind of putting them into the crevices. We keep filling this up until we have enough. All right, let's pop this in. Around 190 and just pump it for 30 minutes and see how this comes up. Got our piece pretty dirty, different colors. That's okay, we didn't separate all our colors. We just wanted it to work. So we have a bunch of pieces on the side right here. I'm just gonna break this off. Make sure you wear your safety goggles. Pretty messy. It's coming up pretty well. So before I take this out, you can see this wall on the side is really thin. There's really nothing to really support it. So it's getting pushed out. So it's not coming out the square. On the next design, we could make this thicker so it doesn't push out like this. Pull this piece off. So here it is. Not the best. It's pretty thin in this part. But overall, not terrible. And this is what we wanted to have a container. See if I can grind grind up the edges. So there's a bunch of edges that are kind of some. I'm just gonna take some of these little pliers and snip it off. Just gonna sand out the edges, see how that comes out. I'm doing this outside and, I, and every time I'm gonna sand, I'm just gonna hold my breath and I'm like, it, it started breaking right at that spot so I actually think that was that extra pour this definitely is that second layer I don't know if you can see it but I can see the line right here this giant piece now which is actually good now I can just easily toss piece in here just melt pieces down now I have this big giant slab I could try to do it by hand and see if I can create anything we can use this for something 
Alright everyone, so it worked, it kind of worked. Pour another one of those resins to make one of those, so I'm gonna think of something else. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully you make a better one than I did. And all right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It worked, it didn't work. Uh, our colors were really ugly, but that's because I didn't separate the colors, but I'm okay with that. Uh, it came out better than expected. I was hoping that it would ooze in like more like liquid, but it, I mean, it's plastic. Your silicone mold, your silicone mixture, Make sure you pour it in one go. If you do what I did, uh, it might come off uh, the way it did. So a little unfortunate, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get it for the next time. Next time.